18 years since that trembling teenager of touch and tease first tiptoed onto this storied stage now in his immaculate maturity cr7 reunited when ronaldo came back we remember that game against newcastle we remember that buzz it was incredible the story of Ronaldo coming back to United. We thought he was going to City. It was the worst possible thing that we could ever imagine as United fans. But he came back to United. And he scored two in his debut against Newcastle. It was the perfect return. But was Ronaldo ever in the plans? I think we can all hold our hands up and say absolutely no chance was he ever in our plans. Did we take an opportunity? Yes, we did. Has it worked out completely for Manchester United? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. I need to ask the question, is Cristiano Ronaldo finished at the absolute top level of football? And by that, I mean someone who's playing week in, week out and scoring more than 50 goals a season. That's what I want to do in this video. So please make sure you consider subscribing by the end of it. Please watch the whole video before you do leave your opinion as well. This isn't just a witch hunt. This is me, what I do on United People's TV. I ask the most prevalent and important questions, and I'm not going to ignore the elephant in the room. And right now, after that game there, against Watford, the elephant is Cristiano Ronaldo, who, in my opinion, looked every bit like the 37-year-old striker that he is in that game. He looked a yard short. Everything looked slightly difficult for a man who's made everything look so easy for so long. He's done the most difficult things and just made it look natural. But against Watford, and for quite a lot this season, everything seems to be a struggle. We look at the post-match reaction after that game there against Watford, and Ragnick says it exactly how it is and he kind of always does that and I really do respect him for doing that he said our job as coaches is to help the team to create enough chances the number of clear chances we had today had to be enough to win a game like this and he's not wrong in any way shape or form we look at what else he said he said it's frustrating we did everything than score uh, than scoring hard to take that result we were in full control for almost all of the game and this man here he hit the post he had a couple of chances I, Bruno Fernandes was equally as much at fault uh, in terms of the big chances missed. When, Renato, when when he was square through there, when he was one-on-one, on one on one, he could have squared it to Ronaldo. probably would have been an easy goal. But he didn't. He took on the chance and he missed. But we need to talk about Ronaldo overall because he's our main man. He's our striker. And who knew that having two strikers of the age of 37 and 35 would leave Manchester United lacking in upfront options, especially when Cavani decides that every single other day is his holiday and he doesn't want to play football. I'm starting to get pretty pissed off with that. I'll be completely honest. But look at these mind-blowing stats, all right? And it's one thing I keep saying to anybody who's trying to throw any sort of criticism towards Ralph Ranning. I won't hear a peep of it. We've had 92 shots. 92 against Watford, Burnley, Southampton and Middlesbrough. And inside that, we've scored three goals. That is magnificently shit. That's, that's, that's crap on a whole new level. Forrest Green would be fuming at that. Halifax in a conference will be fuming at that. 92 shots and three goals. Wow. And Cristiano Ronaldo, he is at the heart of it. Because let's take a look here. This is Ronaldo's scoring record this year. His last goal was against Brighton. He scored one goal since, let's go back here, the 1st of January. He's had obviously had issues with his hip flexor. But I'll tell you the key stat that you need to look at here. Look on the right-hand side. You see how many minutes he's playing in each game. 90 against Watford, 85 against Leeds, 90 against Brighton, 90 against Southampton. And that's four games in 14 days. This is 37-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's something that I've always said and maintained before. Ronaldo, something that we had to do this year was manage him correctly. And I stand by the fact that the only manager I've seen to do that really properly post, uh, obviously, what happened with him at United, Zinedine Zidane. There was a time, I remember it, when uh, Ronaldo was starting to get arrested for games in the Liga, and it was a big story. Uh, Ronaldo benched. Oh, was Zidane falling out with Ronaldo? It, it wasn't that at all. Zidane could just see that he would rather have a, a La Liga game without Ronaldo and then have him pumped up for the Champions League where he kept banging in hat-tricks, and they won three Champions Leagues back to back to back because Ronaldo was so incredible in the European games because he was getting rested. But here at Manchester United now, because our other striker is a 35-year-old bloke who's injured more times than he's not injured, who doesn't really play for us, and we sent Martial out on loan because he wasn't right for us anymore, and Marcus Rashford's not a striker, and Elanga's only 19 and he's not a striker, we're having to play Ronaldo every single 
Look at that. That's the last four games. 90 minutes, 90 minutes, 85 minutes, 90 minutes. And as I said today, he looked every bit. Sorry, not today, yesterday. Uh, every bit like he was 37 against Watford. Every single bit. And I think we need to have a conversation about what, 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 what is next? What's the right thing to do here? I think through a sheer lack of options... Ralph Rannick feels almost obliged to be playing Ronaldo every single week. I think if we had a, a younger striker there, mate, well, look, you could you could talk about Brett drafting Charlie McNeil up from the under uh, under twenty threes uh, or that well actually under eighteens. Uh, would that be a good thing? I mean, you could it would give United an option. Would it be uh, bringing a, an academy player into the first team environment in in the right way? No, it wouldn't be. It would be forcing McNeil into a pressure situation, and I wouldn't want to do that. It might stunt the early start of his career. But Man United, it's right now, as I said, our two options up front are these two blokes. And they're, they are incredible players who will go down in the Hall of Fame of European strikers. Not you, but play, strikers who play in European football. Right. We need to make sure that what happens this summer is we get a top class, world class number nine. Because we just can't do it anymore. Ronaldo, as I said, if we if going back to that video I showed at the start there, that that return of Ronaldo was absolutely magnificent, wasn't it? Seeing him coming back to Old Trafford, hearing the Old Trafford crowd, hearing Viva Ronaldo being chanted out, you felt like a kid again. It was dreamy, it was romantic, it was basically a Disney sequel. That's what we all wanted it to be, and that's what it all started out being with two goals against Newcastle. And it's not as if he hasn't scored goals this year. Come on, people. I'm not saying that he's completely finished as a footballer at all. Go up here, two against Newcastle, one against West Ham, one against Spurs, and an assist, an assist against Watford, two against Arsenal, a goal against Norwich and Burnley. But I think that Cristiano Ronaldo, the days of playing Cristiano Ronaldo week in, week out, are gone. The days of using Cristiano Ronaldo in the right games at the right moments at the right time have arrived. And I think that's the big thing that Manchester United are getting wrong this year. And it's not because Ralph Rannick is making the wrong decisions. It's because, quite simply put, we don't really have anywhere else to turn. Through a lack of choices and a lack of options, he is playing 90 minutes pretty much every week. 22 minutes there against Burnley when he came off the bench, of course, uh, and well... We could have done with him there. Jeez, wasteful chances. But then he came off the bench and he missed a couple of guilt edge chances himself. Ronaldo is not the man he once was. And ladies and gents, there's a certain thing in life called getting bloody old. And he's 37. He's old. You can see that his legs just have that little bit. That it's, he's definitely a bit slower. And his recovery ability is slowing. So when he's playing 90 minutes week in, week out, you're going to start seeing these fatigued types of performances. Slightly, just that yard slower, that, that, that touch further, whatever you want to call it. Ronaldo, for me, is finished at the top level when it comes to playing every single game without consideration. He should be used and managed properly. And I stand by the fact that I think he could be managed and stay at Manchester United next year and it wouldn't be an issue. We bring in some, whoever that number nine is, I don't know who it is, but Cavani's leaving. And at this point, I'm just kind of pissed off, really, about this whole Cavani situation. Sure, uh, it's just injured, injured, injured. Ah, I can have a week off. Injured, injured, injured. Fuming. And it means that we've got nowhere else to turn here. What else do you do inside this squad? Do you play Rashford up there? Give him Rashford season. That's not really going to help Manchester United's situation, is it? Do you play Langer up there? Why, well, Langer's never been a striker. You're just, it's round, round peg square hole. Anyway, not the solution. So, Ralph's kind of got nowhere to turn. We're creating chances left, right, and center. As Ralph says, look, my job as a coach is to make sure that we create chances. And you do your job as a striker to finish it. And Ronaldo, everybody, Bruno, Ronaldo, Pogba, it's not, Ronaldo's not the only guilty party here, but Ronaldo is the party. Ronaldo is the centerpiece to, well, supposed to be the centerpiece to this Manchester United team. So I think we need to have a discussion. We've already had a chat about Ronaldo, okay? But I need to know what you think about this. Is Cristiano Ronaldo finished at the top level? And by that, I mean, is he somebody who now we can't just look at as a guaranteed starter every single week? Do we have to now, as a football club, pick and choose which games we want to start Ronaldo in to get the most out of him? And I think that's what we've got to do because I just don't think he's capable of playing 90 minutes every three to four days. I think we've seen that in the last 
five, six, seven, eight. Jeez. Since the, since the turn of year. You let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Make sure, as I said, please consider subscribing to United People's TV. I'd love to have you as part of the community. Go down there, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell as well. You get a ping every time I go live. But let me know, ladies and gents, what you think about this whole Cristiano Ronaldo situation because, as I said, it's the elephant in the room. You can't ignore it as a Manchester United fan. It'll be foolish to do that. But let me know what you think in the comments below.